Star Trek Return of the Next Generation continues. Characters from the original series like Spock and Scotty have appeared on Star Trek Next Generations, but never before have two captains, Kirk and Picard, rubbed shoulders in the same galaxy until now. Well, of course, William Shatner and Patrick Stewart are used to being space honchos, but one can only imagine the clash of these monumental egos on the movie set. Sure, Kirk and Picard get along fine on screen, but what about Stewart and Shatner off screen? I know there's been a lot of... Uh publicity, a lot of rumor and gossip that things were uh, not amicable mm -hmm. between us. Uh, and of course that makes good newsprint. It sells papers. You know, who's going to sell a story saying Patrick Stewart and Bill uh, Shatner get on really well? Yeah. Uh, in fact, we had a delightful time. I was getting along very well with Patrick for a while. <laughs> and then I discovered that he has been lying to me all along. He's from Brooklyn. And he has, he's, he's uh, he, he acquired this accent uh, well, he's somewhere. He's faking it. He's faking this English accent. He's really from Brooklyn, and I think that being two-faced like that is disgusting. All kidding aside, it appears the century-spanning captains of the Enterprise got along famously on and off the set. And it appears that William Shatner has no problem leaving the helm of the Enterprise for Don't. good this time. Don't let them promote you. Don't let them transfer you. Don't let them do anything takes you off the bridge of that ship because while you're there you can make a difference and to some of the fans that got they heard that you died in the end and all this and they're all upset if you think they're upset how do you think i feel do you have any emotion at all about it i mean you know it's a None, movie i'm okay it's common knowledge by now that kirk dies at the end of the film so fans might want to vent their anger about his death on the film's villain, Dr. Soren, and the actor who plays him, Malcolm McDowell. They say time is the fire in which we burn. It seems McDowell attended his first Star Trek convention recently and was just a little bit scared by how fanatical some Star Trek lovers can be. The thing is what sort of um, gets me a little bit ticked off is the fact that they have they don't care whether it's any good or not. They don't care about the artistic intent, whether it's good or whether it's indifferent or whether it's bad. They just, it, they just get on to this trekky treadmill and, you know, hey, get a life, you know, get, get involved in the artistic intent of it. And, and um, you know, if it's good, then fine, support it. If it's not good, walk. On a happier note, fans of the TV series will be thrilled to see that Data has a major role in the film. He is, after all, one of the next generation's favorite characters. And actor Brent Spiner has some good reasons why. I think Data is a particularly accessible character. You could say, I have a magnetic personality. <laughs> Humor! I love it! I think a lot of people who, are, who feel outside of the, the flow relate to this character. And I think also because he's an outsider who also is very productive, it's an attractive character. He's not a loser because he's an outsider. He simply is an outsider who's also uh, functional. Though it's not the film's main focus, Data's reaction to his new emotion, Chip, is truly one of the most entertaining and amusing aspects of the Generations film. Oh, yes! I hate this! It is revolting! More? Please. The laughing scene, not to give anything away, uh, that was two days of laughing. I laughed for two solid days, take after take after take. And, uh... Pretty soon, nothing's funny, you know? <laughs> and, and certainly, as far as the crew was concerned, I stopped being funny about 10 minutes into it. <laughs> the Next Generation cast thoroughly enjoyed making Generations, even though it was 50 days of intense filming tacked on to the end of their last TV season. And how successful the film is will determine whether the Next Generation gets together on the big screen again. Right now, I'm, I'm very happy not to be putting my spacesuit on every day. And I'm very happy not to be learning Star Trek dialogue because, believe me, there is no dialogue like it in the world, and it is the toughest dialogue in the world to learn. But uh, I have a suspicion that we may not have seen the last of Captain Picard, Commander Riker, Data, and so forth. Mm -hmm.